lovelies. So, you guys haven't seen me, I don't think, in quite some time. You guys have been seeing some edited videos that I've done. Um, so I thought that I would just do a non-edited video for you guys today. I'm um, sure you're going to appreciate what I have to talk about. Um, if you're one of my new viewers that only has seen my happy makeup and whatever videos, um, and you're a little bit queasy, you might not want to watch this video. If you are one of my sick people, I'm sure you've been there. Um, last night, I was violently ill. Um, it is actually hard for me to breathe right now. I don't remember the last time that I've thrown up like that. Um, I actually cracked my head on the toilet, so it's hard to, like, I was, like, feeling my hair, and I was like, do I have a tender point here? <laughs> like, that's how much it hurt, and I was like, no, I cracked my head, and, um, I was telling my best friend, Lindsay, um, and she was asking if I was feeling better today, and I was like, every muscle in my body hurts. Especially like, you know, the usual, like if you ever had the stomach flu, you know them, but my glutes actually hurt. Um, I was actually really afraid because I felt like I was choking. Um, you know, because I've thrown up a ton. I, before I was even ill, I had a very, very, very sensitive stomach. So, um, and then I had a gluten allergy that I didn't know about for quite some time. So um, there was a lot of throwing up with that. But I just wonder if I got gluten in my system somehow. Um, because late at night sometimes I get hungry. And I know I've caught myself a couple times grabbing for cereal that was not my cereal. But um, who knows. I've been having like fibro fevers and sweating a lot so it could have just been a long time coming but yeah I'm in rough shape but um I did start to feel a little bit better and um got to wash my hair and kind of wash myself up a, a little bit so that was nice um these are the pajamas that I got oh my gosh in my wantables box Oh, I look really scary, and I don't know where hair thing is. I have so much hair. Um, hi. But, uh, yeah, just another day in the life. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. It's such an exciting existence. I would choose it any day. Uh, but anyways, the other crisis in my life is because I've been so sick and trying to distract myself, I am, like, legitimately running out of TV shows. Like, I have, like, a list, and I'm running through them. Even shows that I don't really want to watch, like True Blood, like, I really didn't. I liked it at first because it was kind of, like, not, it was kind of, like, low-key, and then it got, it got, like, super violent. And, um... I've been even watching that, and I am just like, ugh. So, anything, even if it's not running right now, if you comment some TV shows that are some series, that would be so freaking awesome, because I need, like, series, because I don't even really, like, necessarily watch them. They just kind of distract me from what's going on. Um... But I missed seeing my friend Lens this weekend because for some reason there's some kind of miscommunication probably on my part. I thought for some reason she was staying longer on Monday, which is today. Is it today? Yeah, it's today. Um, and so I was going to see if she would come over even and just wake me up. And I just really wanted to hug her and see her. But she had to go straight back to school, so... Thus is life, but um, I'll see her soon, I know. 
but uh, I got to see him bust her an ear in, and that's so nice because I haven't seen her in ages. Um, and she's someone I really won't see for, like, if I don't see her, I won't see her for years. Um, but yeah, <sighs> I hope you guys are doing much better than me today. Like, seriously, much better. If I haven't gotten back to your text or your Facebook messages or all the other forums that you guys message me on, please know that it was just because I was so sick I couldn't even see straight. Um, and if I did message you back, I probably don't remember it. So, um, and for those of you that ever think like, hey, I have a lot of similarities with this girl, but she would never want to talk to me, or I don't know, I feel weird just like talking to a stranger. You are not weird. Like, I would love to talk to you, so if you want to message me, like, you don't, you don't even have to have a conversation with me. Like, you can just literally vent if you want some, someone to vent to, because like, I know a lot of times, like, we feel like we're whining or complaining or just like being annoying to people which like we're not uh, I don't know if it looks like it but please if you want to whine complain all those things to me I will totally be there for you and support you and understand what you're going through because you honestly are not alone and I feel the same way even though I know that my friends want to know more about what I'm going through and like desperately want to know more what I'm going through but I still I'm like oh, they're gonna get annoyed with me if I keep talking about this and like just say you're okay when they text you or don't talk to them at all and then they won't know um but you know sometimes it takes talking to people some people that know what that feeling is like so um my content information is down below if you want to email me or facebook message me um i'm here for you and i will get back to you as soon as i can and as soon as i realize that i haven't checked something in quite some time <laughs> um and a lot of you guys have got given me really great ideas for vlogs um which I still have not forgotten about. I still have my, um, my mom took it off, but my, it's called my blog journal, and I have that with all the ideas in it, and I just have to be well enough to conquer some of them, because some of them take a lot of research, so. <sighs> um, yeah. So, I'm here for you, and that really... This is one of my favorite things about this channel is um, making connections and I'm really trying to um, message you guys back and write back to your comments and be there for you guys because you guys are there for me so much and um, you can tell I'm not feeling well because I'm picking my nail polish off. It's a really bad habit. I guess it's not a really bad habit. There are worse habits, let's be honest. But I hope you guys are having a pain free, stress free day. Um, sending out X double O's, and as always, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!